Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Akuma Nights. Uh, here you are in Tal Ushar. You've made it back to your cozy little palace here where you can rest and we relax. Muted. What? Who's muted? What, the stream? What? 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 All right, you're back in your palace. You're back in your cozy palace. Uh, you've got your your captain of your guard here. You've got your royal bodyguards. You can send for a translator. Uh, is there anything else that you I sh that you need to do that I need that you want to do before you go cobalt hunting? Is there a really old map of the peninsula? Yes, you can find a very old map of the peninsula. I want to see like the old the the most ancient map I can find of the peninsula and see if there's anything marked on there. Which is not marked like today. I it's will... overgrown or it's in the forest or, you know. Okay. I have PMG in Discord, a an old map of the peninsula. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can just change it up there, right? Yep. This is 69 and then there's 15 or 9. All right. Yep. I got it. I got it. Uh, so that's where you are now? No. That's what you're looking at. The rest of you are here. You get a translator to come over. You don't have to worry about costs or anything like that. Uh, the only thing before you is when do you want... I mean, you can just go tomorrow into the woods and start hunting kobolds and everything. Is there anything that... We need to go over before you run around and capture kobolds. Can we make sure we have all the equipment down, like all the camping stuff, ration? This is a palace. There we go. Just in case we take longer than a day there. Sure. Uh, so you can, your captain of the guard and your bodyguards will carry extra food for you guys. Uh, you probably shouldn't take your camels into the forest. They don't do too well in the forest. Their their feet are a little bit I, my, soft, and the rocks are a little uncomfortable for them, and the branches are not fun. Hmm? My my camel is a hunting camel, and I take it everywhere I go, except it for has, to Talashar, because you rode no, in a wagon. I brought my hunting camel. It rode along. Okay, you have your hunting camel. Do you have do you have do camel have shoes for your hunting camel so it can trudge through the forest happily? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, that's, that's apparently no thing. Everything. Wonderful. Including a bear trap. Wonderful. And my cooking gear. Excellent. Because Sammy is actually a decent cook, and he oh. will cook his his hunting his his spoils from a hunting trip. Wonderful. Well, uh, let's just skip to the next day then, because it sounds like there's nothing else to do, and uh, head out into the woods. One more thing I would like to do. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> um, who, who's managing the Griffiths? Uh, who's responsible for them? That would be... Let me take a quick look in my notes. Where is our settlement? Akuba, Talushar, Walled City, home to the biggest library in Arcadia, built underground, spanning many floors, with secret passages and hidden doors. La la la. Not what we're looking for. You can read uh, on. There were a couple of informations that were interesting. Nope, that's the end of the, the notes there. Uh, so the... It would be the people in charge, the, um, how do you call it, mayor? There's probably a more appropriate, um, nuanced term for that. But the, the council members that sort of run this area have designated a, um, a messenger, courier service, people who sort of run the thingy. So the council in charge of the area is sort of in charge of it with a subdivision. You know, it's, it's complicated bureaucracy and government. Okay. So I, will, I would like to approach someone who is um, an official and responsible for the Griffins. Yeah, you can head up the Griffin, Griffin up the tower to the Griffin Avery there and go talk to the, the person running the courier service. Uh, a lot of steps up the tower. Hello. Uh, yes, my lord, of course. Uh, many steps, unless you fly. 
Yes, I'm, I'm Budarius Harazim, and I'm uh, the heir to the throne, and I wanted to uh, uh, congratulate, you, congratulate you on your, well, uh, famous griffins. Thank you, my lord. My name is Alex. Hello, Alex. I'm not here for myself. You know, um, my brother, Sam, when we were leaving Talushar, he was really... He had this look on his face of love. Of He always likes to get new pets and um, gets in love with them. Not of always course. for that long, but you know how it is. Yes. Um, but I would like to know if it would be possible to, um, after our return from uh, the woods uh, in a couple of days, maybe, to arrange for a little flight for my brother, that he at least uh, can sit on one of those griffins. Uh, it would mean a lot to him. I'm sure for a royal prince, we could make an exception. Yes. Uh, we can give him a, a quick aerial tour of the area. That would be lovely. If you could surprise him with it, like uh, it would be your idea to offer it to him, it would be great. Don't even mention me. Um, of course, my lord. Of oh, course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Th that's basically all. Um, what was your name, Alex? Yes. I, I will remember your name. You're a very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Turn around and slowly trot down. Long live the king. What was your name? I'll remember it. <laughs> all right. So, you have talked to the people in Griffin Avery. You will have a a, a passenger flight scheduled for your brother in the morning after you return from your jaunt in the woods. So let's go jaunting in the woods. Um, tell me, how are you approaching this? Is it just like, there's my, here are my guards surrounding us in a circle and we're just gonna walk into the woods and look for a kobold? So with my hunting experience, I, I've talked with the, the local, uh, people that deal with these kobolds and ask them about where the the most frequent sightings are and uh if they've been any recent recent uh incidents or if there's been any recent tracks discovered or yeah a couple days ago some kobolds attacked and murdered some people on the road yep terrible shame terrible shame. uh this is a this a common place along the road no, it's not like they attack the same spot every time. That'd be way too convenient. Damn. Uh, oh, what do you want? Well, we we could we could probably meet there and, and survey the area some, see if there's any uh, tracks to pick up on. So you're going to head into the woods towards a site of a recent kobold attack and try and see if there's some tracks you can follow or something. Yes, yeah, see if well, there's any been... indication of where they had been traveling through, where they've been traveling, uh, just like any sort of transitionary right. thing in the trees or forest. If we go there with all the guards, though, they're probably just going to run from us or hide. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, they don't want to talk then, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, we should get a starting point of where to where to at least look for them. Uh, once and then we... you just leave the guards there? Possibly. Uh, Your personal we... bodyguard, <clears throat> Celine, will clear her throat and say, um, my lords and ladies, what if I just have a send out hire a hunter to go back and bring us some kobolds to talk to. Uh, that is why we're here. To do the hunting ourselves. I see. So this is for sport, then. This is to prove our worth. Yes. Yes, of it's course, my lord. Killing kobolds is a great way to prove your worth. Are you being sarcastic? Celine, no, I your understand. Highness. I thought I detected a tone there. Are you sure you weren't using a tone with us? 
we all have to start somewhere. It is not about killing the kobolds. It is about finding out why the kobolds are so aggressive and what the reason behind it is. Right. And there might be something behind it that is even more, that is more powerful than the kobolds. Absolutely. We, know, we would like to find out. And to prove ourselves to the people of Talushar and uh, Kuba, we would like to take risks. Of course, of course, my lord, of course. Um, <clears throat> how, how risky would you like to be? Should should I uh, tie the kobolds to the trees so you can skewer them ahead of time, or would you like them free before you kill them? Perhaps we should have left her at home. I just worry about your safety. These woods are dangerous, and you could get hurt. And we're already short a king. It's a good thought. We would like it to be as natural as possible. We would like to find them and tie them up ourselves. And Excellent. if you could look over our, over our shoulder so that we don't die, that would be very appreciated. Right. Uh, then we shall accompany you and hang back until we hear you need our assistance. That is a good idea, or we would, or, or you need our assistance. Of course, my lord. That's that's absolutely how it will be. Yes. As a general rule, if we are able to spot you behind us, you are too close. Mm. Don't listen we to will him. endeavor to protect you without seeing you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that seems wonderful. Yes, I'm sure everything will go fine. <clears throat> Excellent. Um, shall we head into the woods then? Please lead the way. I, I'm sorry. I would. We we can't lead the way if we're supposed to stand behind you. Unless you want us to walk backwards? And you walk backwards, and then we, we can are lead. We all proceeding to the site of the attack. Why right. don't we go in the middle and you surround us? You know. But then we'll see you, my lady. <sighs> Just a second to clear things up. <laughs> we will go first. You will <laughs> stay behind. Maya, you will scout ahead and make sure that we are, that if there are any kobolds hidden, that you can see, <laughs> see and find. Neil just doesn't want us to bring guards at all. That's why he's doing this. No, I'm happy to bring guards. I'm just trying to do it in a sensible way. Man, I wish they just brought the goddamn kobolds with the hunter. That would have been such a quick deal. <laughs> we gotta go and fight them. Yes. Track him down and just run into a goddamn bear or some shit. <laughs> I will do right. my best, brother. I will do my best to. All right, Maya. I need Fuck. you to give me, <laughs> give me a hide check, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Are we, hide. Are we hiding from uh, the guard. J just think we are commoners. All right. Where am I rolling for hide? Uh, um, it'll be a d20 plus your hide score. Ah, uh, d20 plus 14. Right, cool. There we go. Right. Um, oh, did we did we ever level up your abilities after? Nope. Oh, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. Yep, that's fine. 30. Oh my god, that's so fucking good. They'll never, they'll never find you. We won't. Uh, okay. I put, some, I put some black scarves over my bling just to sort of, you know, disguise it a bit and stop it clinking. Right. So Maya scouts on ahead and you guys lose all sight of her. Um, She's melted into the bushes. Yep, yep. Eventually, you come across the area that had been described to you as the location of the last kobold attack. Uh, you don't find Maya anywhere. Maya, you're totally there spying on them and they can't even see you. I'm just there, uh, like, thinking, like, I could just... I could just, oh, it'd be so easy, but no, but no. They're, they're family. That's right. Family. He's not that annoying. He's not that annoying. It's fine. 
Which he? Which he? <laughs> Not me, though. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Not you or the captain of the guard. Literally hey, we bonded else. through shopping. It's fine. <laughs> Gotta put in some effort. Uh, all right, so here you are at the side Not of the last cobalt attack. Your fucking baby! <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> uh, here you are, in the woods, at the side of the last cobalt attack. The earth is still red with the blood of the fallen commoners that passed through here. Stakes have been erected to place kobolds on as soon as they've been found, but no kobolds have yet been found to be staked. Uh, but the crucifixes and spikes are all ready to go. Great. We just need to track the footsteps of the kobolds. Uh, it's more footsteps. Around, I no idea. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to look around and see if I can find any kobold tracks. Mm. Patterns in the leaves, smells on the ground. Uh, Broken it's twigs, etc. Et more than footprints. Does anybody have a tracking non-weapon I proficiency? Have a hunting proficiency. Not the same as a tracking. I but. sadly do not have tracking. Mm, I nope. assume nobody's I would... got tracking. I'm just relying on my really high perception. Cool. Give me perception checks across the board. There are no trackers, so the DCs will be adjusted accordingly. And that's just straight perception, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely not Ooh. curved perception. Oh, that was not good. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sarah, or are you giving up on the kobolds? No, I just... One sec. I feel like this is not... Oh, that's how it works. Right. It's actually pretty good. I, I, I'm too busy suppressing the urge to kill. <laughs> right, where are those kobolds? I don't see any tracks. Hmm. There's... How do we find kobolds? Oh my god. Out in the woods, all alone. You guys stand about looking about uh, looking for tracks for a little while until there comes a, a clearing of the throat from Celine behind you. <coughs> <laughs> Would you no, like one of my guards to to, <laughs> to to find the kobolds for you? This is why we bring guards. This just <laughs> just a minute. We 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 are onto something. Of course, my lord. Of course. <laughs> Someone has pointed to in the direction. I don't care which <laughs> one. I don't want to lose face in front of something. I, I will go and sort of stealthily rustle some bushes and... Oh, Shh. That, that way. And everyone romps off into the woods together. <laughs> this All is right. I'm going to be tracking for just to fight you. Ten Ooh, minutes later, that. you guys are sort of lost in the woods. You've stomped off and kind of down a ravine and across a creek and up the other side and behind these trees uh, and and um Okay. As luck would have it, I have a proficiency in navigation. Completely and utterly useless for this. <laughs> Do we have a map of the area? For Do we have a map of the area? Oh, Your map of the area is basically like, here's the shape of the forest. It's not anything more useful than that. Could I use my cartography skill to work out where the fuck we are? Uh, do you have a compass? Uh, no, but I have direction. I have a compass. Does that help? And I can see the sky. I mean, well, I you guys like, okay, you can find your way back. You're not that lost. You'll, you'll okay. eventually be able to get home. You're safe. <laughs> uh, and that's when... Who who is it? Um, Celine walks up to. Oh, that's not the right die size. Walks up to one, two, three, four. Sammy, and whispers, <clears throat> "Oh Lord, I think there's some kobolds that way." <laughs> and then she just kind of takes a few steps away and goes back to being silent. <clears throat> I did, see did anyone find something? <laughs> I, oh, hold on. I think Sammy Sammy knows where to go. I, I I've noticed a pattern in in the in the forest. There's I, I see one in the distance there. I think we should track it. Great work, brother. Now look at Celine. You see, we're able. I'm very impressed, Your Highness. Good job. 
And yeah. uh, off you guys go through the woods, tromping away. Uh, <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still leading the way and keeping an eye out for kobolds. Right, right. Uh, so I, I would like... haven't seen me this entire time. I would like to pretend that this is a wild animal and track it using my hunting ability. <laughs> hunting ability is not tracking. Yes, it... No, not tracking, no, but... No, it is not. You know, just Did you read the description? I read it. I literally have just opened up the hunting, and I have, I have, I can attempt to stalk and bring them down. Yes, yes, can... yes. But what does the hunting proficiency do, Sammy? It gives me the ability to hunt and, and the the stalk and bring down game, and a proficiency check to be made to close the gap for ev for each twenty yards. If stalking is uh, successful, I can surprise them. Excellent. And does this allow you to f track animals without being able to see them? I look for the kobolds where Celine pointed them out. Right. Okay. So what I'm getting at is that there's no kobolds around. So your hunting proficiency has absolutely no bearing on this. It'll allow you to like kind of I was stealthy. Told there... that there were kobolds. There were. I just... They're in that direction. Oh my god. They're in that direction, but there's no kobolds immediately adjacent to you. <laughs> Why did you say, oh my god? Why did you say, oh my god? Oh, my phone started ringing again, even though I told it to be on silent, and it's just, it's rebelling. It's sentient. Okay. Yeah. okay. I I, pers I attempt to go in that direction. And okay. Proceed the world. Wonderful. Uh, you guys are heading in that direction, and <clears throat> that's not going to work. <laughs> when Celine comes up and goes over to Maya at some point and whispers, Maya? I, I mean, you've been traveling for together for a while. I figure oh, at some point my. you're going to reveal yourself. If not, then we'll skip Maya. And <clears throat> Celine comes over to Badarios as you guys are walking and whispers, <clears throat> My lord, a little, I think a little further east? <laughs> it's getting handheld. <laughs> it's just some jeans yeah, and whiskey right here. Idea. We should all take a, a minute rest to drink something. Um, Okay. And while you guys pause to rest, Celine and the, the other guards start kind of fanning out to give you a protective barrier, uh, you know, as you, you kneel, near, kneel near a creek to get some fresh water and snack on your trail rations and talk about how good the hunt has been going and you're hot on the trail and yada, yada, yada. And I'd like a perception check from all the players. Oh, good. I'm going to roll a 20, Neil. It's a good perception check, though. I'm, I'm, I'm going to roll a 20. Gonna be so bad now that that is rolled a twenty-two. Uh thirty-two. Oh my god, my! All right, so everyone's kneeling down by this little creek, getting some water. Maya's off looking. And uh, would you roll me a d six, Maya? Uh, one. You're, you, you've got your eyes gazing around and they, they come to rest on Celine, the captain of the Royal Guard. Um, she's off, you know, on a, a hillside, maybe 60 feet away, visible through the trees, just keeping an eye out, um, pacing. When she comes to a, a fairly sudden stop um, and sort of takes on a, a gray effect. Gray, as in she goes gray, like her skin, or just all of her, or yeah, it's kind of like that. The light hits her in that way, and she pauses, and with the the washing out of the the sunlight against the, the shadows under the forest, she sort of has a, a monochromatic color to her. Sally, yes, <laughs> look at that. Does that strike you as odd? On the hill, over uh, there. I, I I take a look at Celine. Standing there, looking out into the woods, protecting you, keeping you safe. Has she moved recently? It's been a little while. This is one of the greatest hunts I've ever been on. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, but it's so good. I... <clears throat> I have a bad feeling about this. 
She looks so. Uh, are you all ready to continue? I'm just going to go over to you and just clap my hand over your mouth. <laughs> we might be in trouble. I start walking over. Over Hell's Eye. Over Hell's Eye. Is she moving at all? I have it. I. I throw a stone to Celine. 60 feet? Yeah, well, he's a big, strong man. You hurl the rock towards Celine. Give me a roll to hit to see if you hit her. Oh, God. Yeah, you Mind crack you. her right on the head with the rock. Um, I, I don't do that. Um, it's... Um, mm. what are you oh, God. Doing? Didn't even twitch, did she? I have a strange feeling that reminds me of our flag. We should leave. Uh, um, we should leave now. You see her face. The I look at her the other guard. They're the all color. fanned out with their backs to you, keeping an eye on the perimeter to make sure you're nice and safe and sound. Dear guards, I don't want to alarm you, but I think Celine has been put to stone. Uh, three of the guards turn to look back at you with a confused look, huh? And they start moving in. Uh, um, okay. Well, they move the guard. or to with Celine. They start moving towards you, guys. As like, look, a, what? Look, what? Look Hold on, did we not hear this? Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, look over on the hillside. Look at her. I mean, Throw a stone at her. She's not moved. We can't. We can't keep her there. Uh, Maya, do you, in- you can yeah. hide. Go take a look. <laughs> Brother, I did a little <laughs> reading when I was younger on on our, our on our flag. I feel that that would be extraordinarily dangerous. The gaze of a basilisk. You you can sneak. They they will never see you. You like a shadow. Brother, if it so much as glances in my direction, no matter if I'm hidden or not. We come to your rescue, and I will Wait. personally carry your stone butt home. Folklore wise, how does a basilisk work? Uh, do you have a folklore proficiency? Yeah. Oh, how useful. The basilisk's gaze is something that they control on their own. They need to meet your gaze to do it. Um, it's not like a, a, a gorgon or a medusa. It's something you just need to look upon, whereas a basilisk needs to look upon you. So theoretically, if you're truly hidden from the basilisk, it shouldn't work on you because it needs to like look at you and gaze at you so and you activate like its shield in front of your face or something. Do, do, um, do you do you want to relay this to me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh-oh. But like, if you don't look at it, if you shield your eyes, it's not gonna put you just uh, If it is a basilisk, sure. that is. Could be something else. If you wish me to, brother, I will go and investigate. I don't see what I can do. I'm not strong enough to carry a statue back by myself. She no, was a no, I know. big woman. Would need to man- know how many there are. If it's only one, we might be able to kill it. It's one we run. No, we, we need to rescue Celine. She might brother. be a heart, but we need to run. Her. Can't leave her there. No harm is going to come to her, probably. I mean, she's a statue. What's the worst that could happen to her? Basilisks eat the statues. Well, she will be alive to know it. Painless death. Right? The job is to protect us. We are the royal family. Surely... She'll still come back. I will go and investigate, brother, but... I love you. I give you Smoochie on the head. Give <laughs> me a stealth check and maybe an anger management check. Uh, no, no, I'm, I've I've had years of practice at that. Okay, okay. Yes, super perfect. Yeah, right. Which was the stealth? Now, this is an important stealth check. You only oh. need a five on your d twenty to to at least be hidden on some level. It's of course opposed by the basilisk, so uh. Oh, no, no, no! No! 
Oh my god. So, oh no. Maya oh starts my walking god. up the hill towards Celine. Do 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 do. Uh, Can we you, all see that? You'll watch as she goes up the hill. You get to the top of it and uh, look about. And you don't see Can't any fight. basilisks there. Yeah. It's, um. Well, she's definitely rock solid. All of her gear, everything is definitely turned to stone. Um, there's not a basilisk nearby. And I think the rest of the party watching her sort of notices that only three of the four guards surrounding you came back, and that other guard still hasn't budged, and no. Oh, maybe it's on the other side of us now. Uh oh. Selene was on, let's say, the north side, and if you got five, Selene and four bodyguards, you know, they're every uh, 360 divided by five degrees. Math is my strong point. Every 72 degrees, there was a, a soldier or a guard. And the, the northern one is definitely turned to stone. And now the sort of like northeastern one is also turned to stone. And Maya's over in the north looking for the basilisk and sort of hiding behind Celine's body. Um, <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm changing my plan. Run! <laughs> I, I get running towards Celine. <laughs> You run yeah. towards Celine, Sammy. I run towards. Yeah. Okay. Where? Where? I'm running my... away from Celine, sort of like I'm. I'm running, sort of like away from the bad shit. I. I'm running. Okay. I'm running to join Maya. Yeah. Okay. So what? Maya and Sammy meet up. Everyone starts running. Hopefully, back in the direction of the road, crashing. Also, I'm totally running like this, trying not to look ahead too much. <laughs> Looking down at the ground, running into trees occasionally, but it's okay. Um, the party scatters How and flees. How heavy is the statue, Neil? Real fucking so heavy. So heavy. <laughs> is it I mean, made out of stone? You can't. Oh, no. you can't is them. she like sandstone? What are we talking about? Um, granite. Density uh. of granite is 2.75 grams per cubic centimeter. Density of water is what, like 1.75 grams per cubic centimeter? No, just one gram. So 2.7 times, uh, 2.75 times heavier than a normal, than she would normally weigh. So her weight is effectively tripled. Right, so, so there's no way I could pick her up. No, if she was like 160 plus maybe 50 or 60 pounds of gear, let's say 200 pounds for convenience. Now she's 600 pounds. And uh, 600 pound to kilo. 272 kilo. kilos. You could drag her. Yes. Yes, you could. With a few, with a little help from your friends, you could drag her. And we'd be incredibly slow as well. Yeah, and she'd probably get broken up into smaller pieces as you drag her well, over okay. things. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. So, as I understand it, the party is an all-out route back to the road. Wherever, yeah. just away. <laughs> you know, I'm trying, trying to, to run sneakily as well. Our... <laughs> all right, uh, you guys flee and eventually make it back to the road. Uh, maybe an hour later or so, after bumbling through the bushes. Uh, but the question is, did the party get broken up or separated during any of this, this fleeing and trying not to look too far ahead? So, uh, one last set of perception checks. Anyone who does not get a 21 or higher has been lost from the rest of the party. Thanks. It's on their own. Goodbye. Yo. Boom. I was with Maya, <laughs> so... Can I, can I say if everybody was trying to grab onto him? Oh, you were running towards her. That doesn't mean you made it there. What, 30 feet? <laughs> Did you all fail? No, I got no. 24. Uh, uh, Maya, Maya, okay. Oh, no, so Maya manages to stick with Sammy. Yeah, I'm, just, Sarah... I'm basically going by the collar, just like, come along, brother, let's go. Sarah <laughs> and Bud get separated. Two of the other guards get separated. One last guard is going to stick with Buderios. So it's Buderios and a guard, Maya and Sammy, Sarah uh, off by herself. And Camel. I'll write your camels around somewhere. And uh, two random guards all separated and lost in the woods. Oh, wow. This is great. Um, 
I look at the guard and say, this is, this is the worst hunt I've ever been on. <laughs> I agree, my lord. This is terrible. Uh, I, I don't even know. There's so many good rolls to do here. What do we even do? Oh, oh okay. Um, so, Sarah, you're the first one to make no. it back onto the road. You, okay, that's fine. <laughs> you bust out onto the road, uh, maybe 10 feet in front of an ox cart, traveling down uh, with a, a small family on the back singing road songs as they go. They don't quite see you. The ox almost hits you, but you, you manage to stop just in time. And then they start yelling at the ox and bringing out the lashes and slows the cart down until the, the head of the family on the cart, uh, the father hops off and runs back to you and goes, oh my God, Mal I am so sorry. We didn't even see you there. I just point towards the direction where I came from. I say, there's a basilisk in the woods. We gotta get going. Oh, get out of here, kids! Get the fuck out! I panic. Jump on it. I don't even know which direction. Like, I guess I have direction sense, but I'm still going with them to right. wherever. Like, uh... You hop on the car and you start barreling down the road. They bring out the lashes. You can hear the father saying, kids, cover your eyes. Get in the back. Get underneath the, the hay. Don't look. Whatever happens, just don't look until sundown. Um, <laughs> and you guys barrel down the road, hopefully in the right direction. Uh, we're going to next go to Badarios. You and your guard are running and eventually you burst out through the bushes and find yourself on the top of a 40 foot cliff overlooking the ocean. <laughs> the guard puts a hand on your shoulder and says, my lord, I, I'm lost. <laughs> No, 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 we're fine, we're fine. We're at the ocean. Thank Which God you know where we are, sir. <laughs> Which means we are at the west coast. Great. Uh, so where is east? I don't know, sir. Mm. Uh, don't worry, soldier. We will make it out here alive. And if not, you will sacrifice yourself for myself, right? Absolutely. <laughs> my life for the king. Uh, so, do we... He looks up and down the coastline. Uh, it's, I don't know. The sun is uh, maybe three hands from the horizon. So it's so later we, in the afternoon. So if we go into the woods, we're not going to make it out until it's night, right? I don't, I don't, you, you don't know how close you are to town. Let us just regroup here rest, uh, get ourselves together, and early in the morning we head through the woods as you want fast to as possible. spend the night in the woods? I look What's at... the worst that could happen? I don't know how far we are away from town. If we go now, it will be pitch black in the forest. Do we want to wait for the frost and pitch, pitch darkness? No, my lord, no. Okay. We'll wait. I mean, at least no one is going to attack us from this side. Right. So should we look towards the woods or keep our back to the woods? I think we should look <laughs> to the woods. <laughs> okay. But not Dream too much. Oh, if the battle is still there. Hold on, my lord. You keep your eyes towards the sea. I'll keep my eyes towards the woods and I'll, I'll hum a song. And if I stop humming, you know something's happened. I will jump from the cliff into the water to save myself. Right, my lord, right. <laughs> Are you still wearing heavy armor, just FYI? What? Are you still wearing heavy armor? Yes. Okay. Uh, we're also going to now flip over to Maya and Sammy. You guys are bolting through the woods on your own as well, separated from the rest of your party. Um, and... Oh, you guys also end up at a cliff overlooking the ocean. Oh, damn it. That direction sense was so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's see. Uh, how does the map go? Okay, if we're, if we're just a cliff, then we we'll want to turn around and go exactly the opposite way, right? Hold on. Uh, I look to the sky and observe the sun and find, my, find northeast, southwest, 
It's about three and hands from the horizon. Do you have a direction sense proficiency, Sammy? Let me just look I at have your proficiencies. Navigation, seamanship. Ooh. He's navigation Ooh. might come in handy in this situation. Give me a navigation check. You don't have your instruments or your charts with you, so you're doing it in an awkward way. So I'm gonna ask my, for a check. I do have my charts. I bring can I, oh, if he's, if, he's, if he's got his charts, then I can probably help with my cartography skill. You bring, like, naval charts of waterways and everything with you everywhere you I go? I my map of Akuba and my oh. star chart. Wonderful. Uh, well, once the sun goes down, you are definitely going to be able to find your way home. Uh, why don't you give me a proficiency check to try and figure out which way you're going right now, since you're kind of just poking out for the first time and trying I to orient yourself. I just want to know which direction the, the coast is. Directly in uh, front of you. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. In cardinal directions. <laughs> right, right. Give me a navigation check. Uh, 32. Oh, yeah, Nailed totally. Oh. Uh, you are facing due east. Yep. The sun is going to be setting behind you. Which side of the road did we go on to? You went to the, the right. Hunt? So you sure. are uh, probably right around the D in woods, in Teltamoris woods. Mm -hmm. Somewhere on that set stretch is where you are currently. Hmm. Which way should we go, brother? Well, north, north we, west. No. Well, we have two options. The, the Tower Shar resides on the the coast. We could follow the coastline back. Hmm. Um. I'm unsure where our siblings have ended uh i but whenever we were on a hunting trip uh i i know you haven't been on one of my amazing hunting trips because you know you didn't want to but whatever we were invited get, brother because i wasn't invited you never it's fine though i'm only the stepsister i just never expressed an interest in so far Whenever we had got separated... How could I express an interest if you never ask me? Wow. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mind. I don't even like hunting anyway. Whenever we would get separated, I would cast a missile to the sky that usually during the night it would be a lot more visible. Uh, we <clears throat> could wait till then, but in the meantime, we should probably follow the coast. Kalida's somewhere closer to to home. So, which way are you going to go? We're going to go south. All right. The two of you head south. Uh, you come Right. You come across the city in no time whatsoever. Uh, you make your way back to Talashar, walk around the edges, get to the, the front of the gate. Um, the guards there will tell you that your sister has just arrived, maybe oh, a couple hours goodness. ago. Um, but no sign of your brother has been found. Oh dear, what a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> Hunting accident, am I right, boys? <laughs> All right. Oh, King is dead long with the queen, then. Buderios <laughs> and red shirt number <laughs> five. Uh, her name oh. is... God, I'm so good at coming up with names. Barbara. Thank you. Her name is Barbara. She has been a, a king's guard for 10 years. She served your family well. You've seen her at functions and events all over the place, and she will willingly sacrifice her life for yours at any point in time. Hopefully uh, it doesn't come to that, so... Yes. Neither of you packed tents. That was on Sammy's camel. So, uh, <laughs> she will keep watch all through the night with her sword drawn while you rest and recuperate. Yeah, I will get out of the heavy armor to have a good sleep. So. All right. So you guys <laughs> go to sleep. That night, Badarius, you are awoken by a okay. hand on your shoulder shaking you and whispering, my lord, my lord, wake up. Yes. Yes. There's something nearby. Wait, wait, 
Yes, yes, yes. Try to get into my my uh, breastplate. Uh, she helps start strapping it on and says, I've, "I heard some some noises, and I I recognize the sound of creatures speaking goblin. I think there's some goblins nearby." Okay. Uh, they see us? No. Do you know how well the relationships are with the goblets? No, my lord, I'm... I'm not very well versed in interspecies politics. I... It's my job common? to kill things and protect things, not know things. G- good, good, good. Do they speak our language? I don't know, they keep saying argy barg you argy barg I've no idea it what it means. Like a Cuban. It doesn't even sound like Turkissian, so uh, no, neither of those. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe let's, let's just, let's just be on the low and not draw attention. Um, the goblins don't notice you, and shortly a patrol of six of them walk by. You can see some weapons amongst them, and they're just m- marching through the woods at night, blah, 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 to each other back and forth as they walk. Okay. Uh, interesting. I speak no go- I, I don't speak goblin, so I'm not willing to risk it and <clears throat> Uh so then, they okay. walk by. She looks at you with like, should we should we get him? No no don't don't I don't speak goblin. The goblins pass. Uh, let's flip back to the rest of the party, who's in Tal Ushar proper. Uh, you guys have all arrived back, and you know the sun has begun to set. <clears throat> it's gotten dark. I've Medarius ordered a glass of home. wine. Oh yeah, We've got a, a nice it's bottle. Dirty. Good vintage. Um, Budarius has yet to arrive home. Your health, sister. I said, we'll have, we'll have to find him. We can't just wait here. Well, we don't know where to begin looking, and there's a basilisk. It would be terribly dangerous. We should probably send some people out, though. Do they not local guards? Have they heard about the basilisk? Oh, yeah. The basilisks are known to live here. Uh, actually, not here, here. They live in the Brasslands, um, the hills to the west, northwest. But why has the basilisk moved all the way here? I mean, Brasslands aren't that far. What's what is the the distance from the edge to here? I don't know. It's like seven miles. You know, it's they they live here, but it was maybe it's a young basilisk looking for new territory. Yeah, it's not unreasonable that they've gone outside of their typical range. It's atypical, but unhurt, not what unheard do, of. What do people usually do to keep them in check? Fucking run, man. <laughs> Put them on flags. Perhaps we could set some traps for them. Bear trap. I mean, they can't be that wary, can they? You know. I mean, what natural predators does a basilisk have? That's true. Bear traps and lots uh, of them. See to it. But how is um, how is God yes, going ma'am? to make it through the night? That's well out of your control. <clears throat> so you guys are resourceful. Did, you just send people out to start putting traps in the woods willy nilly. Not willy nilly. Middle just... of the night. I don't think that's gonna. Well, not in the middle of the night, but you know, it's like it's just, you should see to it. You know, just, go to the brass. You know, send send some teams out to the brass hills and things. Of course, my lady. We need we need to get on top of this basilisk situation. It's terribly dangerous. Yes, of course, my lady. In, in the morning, absolutely. Oh, in the morning. Yes, yes. Plan it out properly. We don't want to lose more people than we need to. Of course, my lady. We we will see to it. I. You don't wish to w- lose my brother at all. 
Do you want us to go out into the night, into the dark, and search the woods for Budarius? <gasps> Brother! You said you were you were, you could send up a, a missile. Perhaps we could try and get his attention that way. Possibly. It would only be visible probably within half a mile or so. And we've already scattered. Listen. If he has follow if he has gone in a single direction, he has either hit the road or the coast. If he has any sense about him, he has either followed that coast follow the road or stayed exactly where he is. So he's probably hideously lost then. He is he is either he probably he either traveled the wrong direction on the coast or he is waiting for rescue. Uh, he would probably not travel alone at night. I wish you to send at least five men to go round the border of the coast in search of my brother. It should only take a night's trip. And if he is not to be How found... Just take a ship? That's a very good awesome. idea. That's... Couldn't you take a ship and sail like a little bit of ways away from the coast? And if you, um, does that seem that, safer than walking through the woods at night? It depends on the on the uh, cliff faces and the rocks. Um, do you do you know of the the do you know of the current state of the the coast? Uh, asking uh, whoever's the current uh, state widow. of the coast. The whether it is viable to send a ship along the coast in search of not at night, people. Lord, not at night. In the morning, though, we could definitely send out a, a little coaster, push along the shore, look for signs of people turned to stone. We are not looking in signs of stone we are looking in signs of course of, of course uh, we we shouldn't give My up hope until it's over brother. already it's fine in that case please send out a sky scouting party at once patrol the the coast and all right come back they send out a scouting party um so maybe half an hour an hour after Bedarius is woken because of the goblins there are some lights that you see down at the bottom base of the cliffs. Uh, looks like a, a group of people wielding torches, walking along the, the coast on the sand. I hope these aren't smugglers. Uh, let's see. They they walk along. Oh no, it's high tide. They can't get to the area where you are. They turn back and head home. You're stuck out here in the woods all night. I tried, but it's okay. Uh, you wake up the next morning, and unless you make terrible mistakes, you should be able to get home safely. We hope. I mean, he thought he was on yeah. the west coast. <clears throat> it sounds true. like a good idea. I guess. Um... He did think he was on the west coast, didn't he? <laughs> Once the first rays of light hit, uh, hit, hit us, we are going to uh, yeah, break you'll... up our camp and um, try to reach uh, the road. Yeah. And land inwards. Easy to do. The, the You are woken up by direct sunlight on you. Uh, were you on the west side, you would be sleeping in much, much deeper later. Uh, so you can make your way back. Not a problem. Barbara, was it? Yep. Barbara will help lead you home. And eventually the whole party is gathered back together. And Tal Lushar in the palace. Oh, you in the palace. Quality time with our soldiers. Uh, did, did something happen between you two? find the lady he was looking for. Barbara? 
<laughs> Thank you for being so um, <clears throat> forget it, brother. Hey. Excuse Just me. Just leave your brother. Leave it. No, it's fine. It's fine. The body language, Bro, nothing went on. Master. Whatever we try, if it, if it's about doing something good, we fail. Why is that? Maybe we should try not being We're good then. We should be able to conquer the world. <clears throat> it takes more than a single day to achieve a task, brother. We have had a setback. Hmm. And we should we try again. We to... need to get Celine home. Yes, we still have time to rescue Celine. There are magics that will cure her petrification. I if she am... hasn't... If no, she try at least. Is it still on one piece? And if she is not, then we will put her to rest. So you guys are going to go out and look for Celine? <sighs> Looks With like it. a more sizable party, yes. All right. With hunting parties, the guard, the royal guards, um, and bear traps. And, and I have a bear, bear trap, trap on me already. I well, have a bear did, trap. Why didn't you use it last time? <sighs> because we were running. Would you guys like to lead this party as well? Um, no. I think we should lead no. the captain of like the rangers. To... Yeah, assist is good. Assist is good. Coming with them is a good idea, but maybe not leading. Mm. And not assisting in finding anything. Just, we are yeah. we are trying our best to uh, re to to find where we ran from because we are the ones that at, were actually there. You'll never it find it. You've been in the woods for the first time. You'll never find the spot where you got lost. No, but we will have a better chance than someone that wasn't there. Theoretically. All right. So you guys head out into the woods looking for Celine. With a sizable hunting party. Yes. Many people are gathered for this. The head of the Quas... Uh, Quas... Quastari? Quastari family is coming with you. The, not the head, but like the, the local head of the Quastari family in Talashar comes with you guys. Uh, ranging out into the woods, you do find poor Celine, or what remains of poor Celine. It's pretty much just mm. her feet. The rest of it has mm. been consumed by some creature. Uh, mm. The other guard can be returned in whole, though. I feel that maybe we could catch a basilisk if we put bear traps around the remaining guard. I didn't even notice that she had su such beautiful feet. <laughs> Just like boots. <laughs> Brother, that's deeply unsettling. But I have a plan, right? We, 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 we trap the area around the guard, and then when the basilisk comes back to finish it off, it, we can trap it and kill it off and do some good for the local, you know prevent anyone else from being murdered by a basilisk. And then we bring the guard back, obviously. It's not going to be blinded from standing in a trap, though. No, but we can volley it from a distance with arrows. So, just so I understand it, um, it turns things to stone it looks at, or do I need to see the basilisk? How does it work? It needs to directly activate its gaze, I, I think our sister said. Yeah, it needs to meet your eyes. Do you know how far away we have to be? I mean, it's just stories, you know? Nobody ever said, well, you know the story of the basilisk has been 120 feet away before he finally turned somebody to stone. That's not how it works, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Is there an effective range to it? Or is it just, you know, glancing across a, an open plain and people a thousand feet away? I mean, they never the tell stone. you how long Rapunzel's hair really was either, you know? You just never get Someone... the stories. It's not my fault. I didn't make them up. 500 Someone feet. Could, uh, write a, a manual of the monsters. That would be a good idea. 
What if there's some crazy lich or other that would do that? Anyway, um. Hmm. So would you like to stick around and deal with the basilisk yourselves, or do you want to delegate yes. that to minions? Yeah, no. I no. don't want to stick around and deal with we, the basilisk. We want to we stick around with the hunting party today yes. and hide just as yeah. the hunting uh, with the hunting party's guidance of how to hide the questory um, family representative will help set all of this up uh she knows her shit and helps build you guys some blinds to hide in gets you guys tucked away in the proper corners of trees and whatnot uh helps you stake the the bear trap so that you know once it closes around the leg of the basilisk it can't pull it free yeah. Um, the bear we'll... traps. Multiple. Yes, yes. Multiple Maya, by the bear way, traps. will totally be staked out in a tree because she's not going down there where the best list can bite her. I want to ask my sister if the stories say that uh, if the if they are intelligent creatures. Do basilisks, by the way, do their gaze work in mirrors? Would that work? Oh. <sighs> Well, would they work through spyglass? Sarah, why don't you give me a whatever it's called check? Folklore? That's the one. And with what? Intelligence or wisdom or what is it that? It should You're have an assigned oh my God, staff I already. I... One second. It's a 12. There was 12? a beep. 12. D20 plus 12, please. I heard a beep. <laughs> Was Come on, you got this. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. You know what? Expert. They <laughs> are on the royal flag. You know, you know everything there yeah. is to know about basilisks. Everything about basilisks. It, you used to get bedtime stories about basilisks read to you. <laughs> it's a little bit of a basilisks aren't the smartest of creatures, which is a bit of a contention point. Sometimes people say the Akubans are as smart as basilisks and have brains of rocks. Mm. You know, like, there's a lot of... They're not very bright. They do have six legs, four in the back, two in the front. Uh, they can turn things to stone, although the exact distance is not really known. They're known to have actually sort of terrible eyesight. Um, and or have a hard time really focusing on things. Some people think it has to do with the way that their eyes turn to stone might also reduce the ability of the basilisk to see. Uh, but they're really freaking strong as well. Like, you know, the primary weapon is turning people to stone, but should they bite you, they can like rip your legs off. You know, they're like gators. Also, d does the mirror trick work? The mirror trick does not work um, on basilisks, unless the mirror is very close, because they, as mentioned before, have this like really bad vision. No, I just so... meant like if you're if you're looking in the mirror at them, can they? Will the reflection turn you to stone? Oh, oh! If you look at them in a mirror, not yeah. if you make them look at themselves in a mirror. Yeah. Hold on. Bay needs to consult her memories a little bit more closely. Mm -hmm. Getting out my history book. There's no way that Maya things. does not have a mirror somewhere in her jewelry. Right, oh, about yeah. mirrors. Uh, I, have, I have a mirror. I think. Do I have a mirror? Maya has cosmetics, and cosmetics require a mirror. Obviously. Oh, I put a mirror on here? We can just I think I might actually have a mirror in one of my kits as well. Yeah, I believe that you can look at a basilisk in a mirror and it will not hurt you. Uh, however, right, it's really right. hard to fight a basilisk in a mirror or even like walk Ooh. around through mirror gazing. But uh, it, it's all theoretically But if I'm doable. in a tree, keeping an eye out for a basilisk in a mirror, that, you know, mm -hmm. as a lookout thing. So mm -hmm. I'd like to pose a idea. To a, to a, to a, to entice the basilisk some, if possible, I could summon a a mount that would be easy prey for it. I mean, we were eight people earlier or something, and he still went for it. I don't think he's intimidated by us. I think we're prey enough, to be honest. And there's that yummy, yummy statue it hasn't eaten yet. I mean, is this thing either we take prey or we take the statue? Like either of it. 
So you guys are going to stay here and wait for the Basilisk? Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't we take our last break? And uh, when we come back in our last and short segment, we will hopefully learn something. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show, but <laughs> next week's going to be yeah. something else. We don't know what yet, but you know, we'll stage. have new characters. We'll roll new stats. <laughs> gonna be know, I'm just having flashbacks to my shenanigans character. Was it my shenanigans it, character? It was. Yeah, yeah Basilisk. Follow us next time when we play Did members of Shazin, Shirazin family, or whichever yeah. ever family you <laughs> A Cuban Squires, I think, is the next <laughs> sequel campaign. Uh, we'll Who's be back. That, my lord? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back oh, on the other side yeah. of a break. Bye, everyone.